Okay, I know I just said it, but this has to be one of the most adorable things I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at this. Little Jealous Dan uh, is going ahead and getting a drink of water, which begs the question in my mind, how often do brown-throated sloths actually seek out water versus how much water do they get from uh, the leaves that they eat as folivores? Or apparently as what falls down from the sky right on top of them. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our adventures here in Pixel Sanctuary of Planet Zoo where we've got Clorox hiding in banana trees and we've got adorable sloths going ahead and very slowly getting a drink of water uh, or napping way up high, that's adorable, or slowly climbing their way past the brand new really cool information board that we made about them <laughs> oh my gosh so thank you guys so much for your patience last time because i had to get this right i had to create an information panel for the ages and i'm proud to say that we did just that because look at this i am so proud of it here we'll go ahead and we will look at it in a different setting as well because we can go ahead and we can start using this information panel for anything we want anything the power is ours we now have this a really cool leafy setup that has a cooling station it has ambient rainforest noises it's got lights that light up at night and really look very cool on top of all of the bamboo i think that's an effect that i am absolutely going to be using more of in the future and it even has a handy dandy little screen that you can go ahead and oh my gosh Mila is mating what 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 Mila at five years old has gone ahead and she has snagged herself a mate in none other than Mandala, a seven-year-old young adult male uh, who we actually need to go ahead and give a lot more space to. Okay, thank you for reminding me, giraffes. I'm so sorry. We probably should go ahead and we probably should actually finish our current project that we have listed, you know, up here, up here in our treehouse where we lined up the choose your own adventures and we rolled the chicken dice and the chicken dice picked Stan. Oh my gosh. Is this literally what it looked like before? Really? Oh, we've come so far. Where's one of Stan's? Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have actually got somewhere in here. Uh, give me one second, but I'm pretty sure I actually have a picture of uh, what Stan's exhibit looked like before. And I feel like we need to go ahead and look at it really quickly like when we were first starting all of the work that we were doing because this could be pretty significant. Also, I think this is upside down. So let me go ahead and correct this. There we are. Okay, okay, okay. Give me just a second because I'm pretty sure we have a a picture. Okay, so that's memory treehouse pictures. That's the sloth baby. There's Pfal Plaza before. There's oh, the eyesore jungle. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is what it looked like. I can't believe this is actually where we started with putting Stan's exhibit together and the walkway. It looks so good now. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of what we've been able to do. And we aren't even done yet. You could say we're hardly getting started since we still haven't even added in all of the leaves. And hopefully that's one of the things that I can tackle today. <laughs> is actually getting in here and we're gonna see if we can finally fill out the leaves and the plants around Stan's exhibit uh, so that we can make our brown slowed throat slowed. Why do I keep saying it's slowed? Like what? I guess they're slow and they're like brown throated, but still it's kind of weird. Like it, it sounds really diabolical and, and scary and that's not quite the tone I was going for. Uh, also we have tortoises maturing which is kind of a miracle. Like, let's be real, guys. That's kind of a miracle if the tortoises are actually maturing because they take forever to grow up. And we will be dealing with all of that later. But for now, I want to go ahead and actually spend a little time putting the leaves that I have threatened all of you with down finally into, whoops, okay, well, that's not really why I wanted them, but you know what? A leaf is a leaf is a leaf at this stage. Uh, all right, and 
you know the pineapples now that i know they're very out of out of character now that i know that our wonderful brown just loaded <laughs> Our wonderful brown sloated sloths actually are folivores, which means that they exclusively eat, uh, exclusively eat leaves. And why are we stressed over here, my dears? Why is suddenly the entire panda zone stressed to, to, to panda pieces? Like what? Do we just need more silence? Oh, I bet we need more silence out where like they, they go ahead. Silence! <laughs> You must whisper around the, the pandas. Whisper. Whisper around the pandas. And then, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is how we have made such a chaotic mess of a zoo. Because this is this is the way that we solve things. Just like slamming down some random bits and bobs. Alright, hopefully that's going to help everybody feel a little bit better. I feel so bad for our pandas and our flamingos because we haven't really spent any time with them. Um, are you feeling a little less stressed over here now, my dear? I think they are. The guests were just a touch noisy. Uh, also, we have a, a lot of flamingos that I need to sort through and figure out who's gonna stay and who's gonna go and... Oh, jeez. And habitat cleanly... Yes, it's the foul field. The foul smelling field, you could say. Which still, for some unknown reason, has llamas. <laughs> Why did I think I needed llamas? Wait, whose animal... Sabaya? I think we're gonna go ahead and maybe you are actually too shy around people. We're gonna release you to the wild so that I can have a little bit of peace and quiet. I literally was just starting to put down my freaking plants. Okay, okay. All right, all right, don't worry, we've got this. We, we can actually figure out how to do this quickly because we're gonna develop. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Hold up. Hold up. Did somebody break something? Because I thought I, I could have sworn I heard the sound of something breaking. But I guess it was just, thankfully, my imagination. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're going to sort from the most popular peafowl. Uh, it looks like we actually have several young females uh, and a young male who happened to be over 1,000 on uh, the appeal, which really, like, I kind of want to question that someday. Like, why? How? What is it that makes it so appealing? Like, it has 0% rating. Is it just the physical stats? No fights. I mean, it's a baby. Maybe it's just, like, it's that beautiful. That's just a glorious, a glorious, glorious male peafowl. I guess we could go ahead and we could just name him uh, Glorious, uh, Glorious, um, uh, let's see. Let's, well, now I'm Jim Feather. <laughs> why? Because we could, that's why. Meanwhile, his not-so-glorious younger siblings, or older siblings, I should say, any of them who are below, um, who are below like 900 and are not one of our named ones, I am more than happy to go ahead and gently yet firmly release to the wild so we have less bird poop to clean up. Thank you very much. Apparently a few of them are pregnant or something. Whoops. <laughs> Phew, okay. But full of ores, full of ores. Other full of ores happen to be uh, creatures like koalas, for instance. And we have another picture of a brown throated, throated, oh my gosh, a brown throated sloth baby holding on to its mother. Like I was telling you guys last time, the arm strength of the brown throated sloth babies actually biologically is dependent on clinging on to its mom. So you might see a whole bunch of uh, what seem to be very cute videos, right? Or very cute pictures of a sloth orphan holding tight to a stuffed animal. And we like to go, aw, isn't that adorable? They're, they're getting comfort from that. Sure, yeah, they're getting comfort from it, but it's also a biological need and it's less about the warm fuzzies. So just be aware of that. And also you guys may see uh, pictures or videos of people with sloths sometimes and the sloth seems to be waving. That's a stress reaction. If you see someone posing with a sloth who they really don't like people, even when they're rehabilitated by people, uh, is like waving an arm, that's actually one of the few stress responses that a sloth will do to say, hey, get away, 
get, go on, get, like, that's a sloth trying to tell you to get out of here. Uh, so, I really, I, I was surprised to learn that, because you see those pictures all the time. And it's just as important to me to think about that as it is to know, like, it's not good to go and uh, have those pictures taken with the little baby animals. Like, you know, the lions and tigers, who should not be held for photo opportunities. But I shall leave more of that rambling for another day. For now, I'm going to finish coding. No! <laughs> I'm going to use our cheatsy quick, quick place platform here to be able to go ahead and just like quickly get a whole bunch of plants put down because look, Stan's been waiting for ages. I feel like this is fair. This is just justice of finally being able to like get some of their exhibit properly covered in plants. Um, and then, oh dear, why do I have, look, I don't have time for inbreeding hippos. And do we have shy pandas again? Because I really feel for them, okay? And we're gonna do something about this. But like, I promised Stan for years now that I would go ahead and finish like working on his area. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. <gasps> Look at all these leaves! Okay, who's- okay, actually it's spider silk in the garden. Who's upset? We need to turn on population management for them. And we need to make sure that we have... Maybe the uh, lowest appeal females yanked. And then the appeal lowest males yanked. There we go. Phew! Oh my gosh! <gasps> I'm actually really happy about this. Oh my gosh, Paloma, 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 who definitely I think needs to be named after one of you guys. So let me pull up the random name generator. And we have Antony. Antony, thank you so much for being the one to rise to Calypso's like empty spot. Oh, and Thalia is also escaping. I've never been so happy to have escaped giant tortoises because they they are they are carrying on the legacy and to me you really got far away was there a tortoise on the roof <gasps> what <laughs> what <laughs> what is happening <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> oh no what is going on why? How? Who? S Sylvia! Sylvia! You're definitely- you're not integrating well as an outsider, Sylvia. What is happening here? Do you know? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sylvia, what are you- oh my gosh, this is- this is- where are you going? How do you think this is going to end? This is not how- <laughs> This is- this is not- this is not a giant Galapagos tortoise is supposed to, to ambulate. Are, uh, uh, what is, are you, okay, hang in there. Maybe if you just tucked your legs in, you could go down like a little sled. Oh, you, you, my dear. Just won uh, what we are going to rebrand from the Bad Tortoise of the, the Year Award to uh, <clears throat> the ad most adventurous tortoise of the year award now goes to none other than our girl, Sylvia. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I honestly do not remember the last time I have been so deeply amused. Um, by, 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 you know, the chaos that our tortoises bring to us. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Good Good Tortoise of the Year Award is about to become the most adventurous because we named it the, the Bad Tortoise of the Year and then Khalifo died. Like, Khalifi died and I just, I am not over that yet because that really was emotionally upsetting to say the least. <laughs> I, I still feel really bad because just as we told her she's a bad tortoise, then she she up and died on us. For crying out loud. Alright, look. Okay, there we go. So now Sylvia, she's get she's the new she's the new queen of escapes. So Queen we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go and rename her. Queen Sylvia. Most grand uh roof 
escapade. That was the most amazing thing I've seen. Like, there you go, Queen Sylvia. Uh, I actually feel like here we'll do we'll do two signs. She she's so cool that she gets two signs, <gasps> and we should take a picture of her. Okay, and now who's escaping? What is up with all of our tortoises all of a sudden? Like, it, did they did they all just get a memo? I didn't. Avita, oh my gosh, maybe they all just want to be like in the Tortoise of the Year awards, huh? Oh, see, I'm trying to upgrade Stan's leaves, but you have to admit. This is what brings us character, commitment, and excitement to the drama that are our adventures. So, let's see. Now I have Avita, uh, who I think also needs a new name. So that's going to be Anthony. And then we had Queen Sylvia. And then... Uh-oh. I don't remember the other one. <laughs> Avita. And then we had, like, one more who was also escaping. Thalia. Thalia was escaping. Thalia is an escape artist. Um, she has done that many times. So I know that Thalia is definitely an escapee. I, I love Queen Sylvia. Thank you very much. I guess we could have like a memorial to Kalipo again over here. But that does is that too extreme? Like, like, because, you know, I don't want to I don't want to have a memorial if we don't need it. Maybe we'll put some sort of other like advertisement thingy over there. Um, but let's see. So we have, let's see, uh, Thalia, one grand escape. Then we also have Antony, one grand escape. And then we have got uh, Avita, which I think we need to rename Avita as well. Uh, so there we go. There's the, the tortoises of the most adventurous renamed and rebranded after the trauma that happened to be Kalipo dying last time. And I feel like Queen Sylvia, like, I want to figure out some way that we can say, like, she's she's queen of the roof. Um, a roof escapade. This sign, this sign's small enough. Maybe we could go ahead and, like, like, Queen Sylvia, roof escapade. Yeah, here, we'll put that there. All you guys. So, whoops. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, uh, queen of the Roof Escapade. Ah, okay, that's not how you say <laughs> Escapade. There we go. All right. And Agabelle, Agabella, the greater flamingo, is about to have a baby. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, carry on. Carry on. Uh, meanwhile, there we go. Ah. Now that we have been appropriately and chaotically distracted, uh, I feel I feel this is good enough for now. Um, we'll do a picture of Queen Sylvia at some point. For now, I love that. <laughs> All right, guys. So now let's spend a little bit more time with poor Stan. I've almost got half of his. Almost got half of his spot, like, actually covered in leaves this time. We'll go quickly. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Why didn't I think of this before? Of course. Here, and we can actually... <gasps> this could be one of the template zones. We could go ahead and we could grab a bunch of, like, the floor leaves versus, like, wall leaves. Though I guess we could transform these into wall leaves really quickly. But this can be, like, the template area we put this in because we can smack it down real fast. And then one more there. And then we can go ahead and we can snag all of these, merge them into a uh, rainforest. <laughs> Rain, or how about, we'll do tropical, okay, rainforest. Um, floor? I guess what do you, the, what do you call it? It's, it's the forest floor, right? Uh, rainforest, leafy rainforest floor. Floor, uh, in a box. <laughs> I love that. And now we can just have that there forever. And when we need to, we can come on in and we can just snag a couple of those to insta-decorate wherever we need to in our entire zoo. I love it. Because now at least we can cover, we can cover the basics. 
Oh, okay. But now that we've covered some of the basics, I have to admit, friends, I do feel like I, I haven't been giving Stan enough appropriate attention. And we need to do a little bit more work here. We need to actually, you know, make this area look kind of unique and different and really make it stand out. Eh? Eh? Do you like that? <laughs> So I really am thinking I want to do like maybe a tropical arch that actually might make this area too busy now. So let's do at least do, you know, a few tropical trees. And I wanted to have the sides of Stan's exhibit kind of come up sort of like they are doing with this mossy rock. But, uh, oh, I know. Oh, miracle upon miracles. Do I finally have somewhere to go ahead? Oh. We may just have somewhere to go ahead and move another one of these walls so that we can tuck this wall away for some instant creation of awesomeness. All right, is this what I was talking about and thinking about over here? Or is this going to be too much? Let's find out. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I mean, why do I think about this? Sands the sign. That's kind of the vibe I was going for. And I guess I could just like flip it and do two of them and then put some stuff on top and like make some stuff arc over. We'll try it. We'll give it a good try. And if we like it, we'll keep it because it does make that like, oh, it does kind of make it have like a canyon corridor feel, doesn't it? Okay, that might be kind of cool. We'll give it a little try next time. Uh, oh, and also I wanted to set up maybe just a little spot where we could have these these bamboo pieces just ready to go. And that is going to be useful for next time we want to do a really cool build like our lovely, lovely sign, which I do want to put in more spots. Maybe we should put one over by... <laughs> Maybe we should go ahead and we should put one over by where the tortoises are. For crying out loud, I'm not trying to select that thing. Alright, there we go. And then this will be really useful in the future if we ever just need to grab uh, some of these bamboo pieces to use as decorations or to use as building blocks. Hmm, at least it will be if I have a good spot to leave them. Uh, where I can like access them without tripping over myself. Okay, maybe maybe I'll have to maybe I'll have to work on oh jeez. Okay. Ah never mind. Maybe I, I need to just go ahead and work on making a proper like bamboo building. <gasps> that could be really cool! Like a mechanic area where where it looks like someone's just making different things out of bamboo and weaving it together. Oh, that could be awesome. That could be awesome. Alright. I think I think this might work. I think this might work, and I think it means that we might finally get the rest of the leaves planted for Stan, and we can work from there to see how we want the rest of this area to look. Huh. Okay, actually, I think this really might might happen. I think we're doing it, you guys! <laughs> but alright, oh my gosh, that actually does look really cool. But alright, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this extremely chaotic adventure, as usual. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and move this lime tree back here. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, ooh, that looks really cool on the side, actually. I like this. I like where this is headed. And then do please consider subscribing, but most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye